Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Tuesday, June 8th. So, we'll go back to the beginning. And we had a lot of, excuse me, words that had um, minimal pairs, which means they're the same except for the vowel in the middle. So, that's good comparison. And, Anna, I hope you're listening because I think a lot of these words came from you last week and we didn't get to them. So, we did them this week, but I didn't see you today. So, Hopefully, you're able to watch the video. Fourth and fourth. <laughs> they sound exactly the same. So uh, the first one means go forward, and fourth is just number four position. And the vowel is or. So you have to round your lips and curl your tongue back for the R. Four. And then go from the R curled back to the tongue between the teeth. So that's a big movement. Fourth. And you should finish with the th only the airflow. If you sound like an S, like force, that means your tongue is behind your teeth and it needs to be further forward. <laughs> Go forth. <laughs> forth. Push your tongue out. Forth. And bet is here to compare to bed. So I'll, I'll do um, bet. The vowel is e as in head, the jaw is more closed, and the vowel is a little shorter because the last consonant in the word is T, T is voiceless, there's no vibration in the throat, so the vowel gets a little shorter, bet. So if you said, you bet, it'll be very short, you bet. But if you said, let's go to bat, <laughs> bed, bed, be is a little longer, but it's the same exact vowel, be, bed bedtime. And now I'll do the others that are similar. Seven is bat. It could be baseball bat or it could be the animal the bat. It's just bat. And the vowel is a. Ah. I'm stretching it to demonstrate the vowel, but now I'm going to demonstrate that the vowel is actually shorter because it ends with a T. Bat. And then the same exact vowel, but ending with a D makes it a little longer. Bad. Bad day. So all of them, bet, bat, bad, bed, okay, and job, this it looks like an O, but it sounds like ah, ah, like awesome, so the jaw is open, and the lips are straight, job, and six, the vowel is ah, so the jaw is open, but the lips are back, jab, jab. So I learned, I didn't know until this summer, talking about vaccines and getting a vaccination shot, that um, Americans say shot, but British say jab. So if you said the sentence, I got a job, I got a jab, you can use that same sentence for both of those different words. And so they should sound different. I got a job. I got a jab. Americans say, I got a shot. So... Um, Vehicle. Vehicle. It is three syllables. Vehicle. But you can kind of squish the middle one. Vehicle. Via. Vehicle. Chores. This looks like an S, but sounds like a Z. Chores. And the middle is or. Chores. This CH sounds like a K. Chasm. Anything where you have an S and an M next to each other, you're going to have to put a little I in there. Um, it's usually spelled I-S-M in words that end with ism. So you have to have a ism. That transition from the Z to the M sound requires a little vowel. And the same here, but it's an A. Chasm. And I put these on the same line because they um, are exactly the same sound. Capital. Capital. And this one I looked up because I wasn't sure um, about the G, but you, yeah, you can say it J, but when you get J a little lazy, it can sound like J. So nostalgia, nostalgia. When you have a J and your um, tongue is completely blocking the airflow, J. That's a good J. If you are almost touching the top of your mouth, but air goes over it, it'll sound like zh. Nostalgia. 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 Very similar. Romanticizing. 
romanticizing. Romanticizing. Sigh is your secondary stress, so I'll underline that. Mortgage. No T. And the first G sounds like a G, and the second G sounds like a J. So no wonder this word is confusing. Mortgage. Um, the adjective, final. The vowel is I, final. So you need a noun after it, like the final episode. But finale is a um, noun by itself. You would just say the finale. And you can say na or na, finale or finale. Either way. Hedgehog. This DG is a J, and this final G is a G. Hedgehog. Bus. And that has the vowel U, uh, and it ends with a S, bus. And 24 has the same U uh, vowel, but ends with a Z, buzz. 22, I, I put um, another one on 23 so that we could have two um, meanings. The first one, 22, Bass is a fish, so the vowel is a ah, ba bass, but bass like bass guitar or bass baseball first bass they have an s and the vowel is a bass. Well, the first one has an s too. I don't know why I said that. Twenty two bass, twenty three bass, twenty four buzz, twenty one bus. And course, this could be spelled course as in an English course or the, the course of a, river, of a river, or the OA means rough texture, but they sound exactly the same, course. And priority, priority. Meal, this is a situation where your E is very high, and then you're sliding down to make your tongue go down and up for the L. So that's when an, a Y accidentally happens. Meal. And other words that have that same combination. Real. Deal. Wheel. Wheel. And I, the contraction wheel can get short to will, but for practice, wheel. Feel. And just eel. <laughs> Coffee, the vowel is ka, so you have to open a ah, coffee. Beach, 29 as the e vowel, very high, very tense, beach. And 30, the vowel is a little bit lower, so your tongue, instead of e, it's i, bitch. The vowel is i, as in hit. 31, wild, this is another, your tongue goes high when you say why. And then slides down for the L, D. Wild. Mild. Same. You can, you have options with this one. You can say funeral. It's like few. I put that over here. Funeral. Or you can make it three syllables. Funeral. And it might be a little easier going from the, um, well, maybe not. Funeral. Funeral. You still have the RL transition at the end. 33, I had to look up because I wasn't sure, but amidst, amidst, we do have to say DST. So you stop the airflow with your D, amid, and then relax your tongue so that you can make an S, and then push your tongue back up to stop the air for the T. Amidst. But it's easier <laughs> to just use the word amid with no STD combination. Amid, has, it has the same meaning. 34, beard. You're not going to hear the D at the end unless there's a word after it that starts with a vowel. Like, I like that beard on him, beard on. But if it was at the end of the sentence, you wouldn't hear it at all. I like his beard. And that would sound just like, I like his beer. <laughs> I like his beer, beer. Both of these have the E vowel. AC, the stress is usually on C. AC, AC, short for air conditioner. 
usually the word conditioner, the stress goes up on dish. But when you're using it together as like one word, and maybe it's hyphenated, I'm not, I don't know. Um, it's starting high with air and coming down, down, down. Air conditioner, air conditioner. Bird. Same thing with the D. You're not going to release it unless there's a vowel after it. Bird. Big bird. Gossip. Looks like an O, but sounds like ah. Gossip. And um, the first one that was here was M-Y-S-T, which I didn't know was a word, <laughs> but it can be short for mystery. Um, and it's the same sound as mist, as in the moisture in the air. And it sounds the same as mist, because the E-D here sounds like a T. I missed your call. Mi, mi, the vowel is I, as in hit, with an S-T, missed. And then thou, the vowel is ow. Thy, the vowel is I. Thee, the vowel is E. Responsibility, responsibility. Cushion. Um, it's hard for me to represent the uh sound, so remember that the vowel is uh, as in took and good. So don't round your lips. C cushion. I have to round a little for the sh, but not too small, or it'll be ku, cushion. It's not cushion, it's k, so no rounding, cushion. Beehive, beehive. And this word can be a noun, as in resume. Resume. Um, that means the same as a CV, a curriculum vitae, which I think in um, uh, England, the CV just means resume in general. But in the United States, the CV, the curriculum vitae, is a resume specifically for people who are working in universities. So I, I thought that would be helpful, but now I think maybe not so much. But resume. And the verb looks the same because um, Americans don't usually use the little hyph um, mark on top of the E in resume. So you would only know from context that it's not the verb resume. Resume. Academia. Academia. And these are examples of the T comes before an N. So when you put your tongue up for the T sound, it's the same position as the N. So instead of releasing it, curtain, you just hold it there. Curtain, curtain, and the same. Certain, certain, and mountain, mountain. That's that's it. And um, thank you, Bernice, for asking about the tabs at the bottom because I refer to the vowel diagram a lot, but I forget to refer to these other tabs. And I put these here for extra practice and for extra examples of how the same vowel sound, this, this is all vowels with R's, how they can have different spellings because I think that's very confusing. Just the er sound can be spelled E-R, O-R, E A R U R I R. <laughs> this is crazy. They all sound like er. Um, the same with air. It can be spelled A I E E A A A I. <laughs> so it helps to see a variety of spellings and and practice uh, pattern recognition of seeing them when it looks like this. It sounds like this because it may not follow the rules. Work comes up a lot. Um, as forgetting that it looks like an O, but sounds like an ER work. Um, there's F, V, T, H practice, because this is about airflow. And sh, j, ch, j practice, because again, about airflow. Um, L practice, not too much, mainly the hidden Y. And the hidden sounds has what we did with real and feel, where there might be um, an invisible Y going from a high sound to a low sound and some more. So don't forget those are there for extra extra practice, um, as if this wasn't enough. <laughs> but you can go back and refer to it anytime. Uh, thank you for coming. And if you couldn't, I hope you are able to join us another time. Have a good day.